Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about omega-3 fatty acids, your essential ally for health and longevity. What are omega-3s? They are a type of polyunsaturated fat that our bodies cannot produce, meaning we must get them from our diet. The three most common and important omega-3s are alpha linolenic acid, ALA. This is primarily found in plant sources like flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, and some vegetable oils. ALA is considered the parent omega-3, and while beneficial, our bodies can only convert a small amount of it into the more active forms. Ecoso pentanoic acid, EPA, found predominantly in marine sources like fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines. Docosa hexanoic acid, DHA, also found in marine sources alongside EPA. Deficiency in EPA and DHA can actually result in deaths. They are not just nice to have nutrients, they are fundamental for life. Current recommendations often suggest a daily intake of around two grams. Measuring your omega-3 status, the omega-3 index. The omega-3 index is a simple blood test that measures the percentage of EPA and DHA found in the membranes of your red blood cells. Why red blood cells? Because the fatty acids in these membranes turn over slowly. The omega-3 index provides a good long-term indicator of your omega-3 status over the past three to four months, unlike blood tests that just show a recent intake. It's more than just a number. It's considered a risk marker for cardiovascular disease, much like cholesterol levels. What are the optimal ranges? High, optimal, 8% or greater. This level is associated with the lowest risk of cardiovascular disease. Intermediate, 4 to 8%. This range suggests a moderate risk. Low, undesirable, less than 4%. This level is associated with the highest risk of cardiovascular disease. Knowing your index empowers you to make informed decisions about your diet and supplementation. Let's look at some of the benefits. Cardiovascular health. This is perhaps their most well-established benefit. They are powerful at lowering high triglycerides, can modestly reduce blood pressure, and are strongly associated with a lower risk of heart disease and stroke. They help maintain a healthy heart rhythm and can even slow the buildup of plaque in arteries, which contributes to atherosclerosis. Brain health and cognitive function. DHA is absolutely crucial for brain development in infants and is linked to improved cognitive development. In adults, higher omega-3 intake from food may be associated with a lower risk of cognitive decline, Alzheimer's disease, and dementia. EPA in particular may also improve symptoms of depression and anxiety, and some studies suggest benefits for ADHD. Eye health. DHA is a major structural component of your retina. Adequate omega-3 intake is linked to a reduced risk of age-related macular degeneration, a leading cause of vision loss, and may help relieve dry eye disease. Inflammation and autoimmune conditions. Omega-3s are renowned for their anti-inflammatory effects, reducing the production of substances that cause inflammation throughout the body. This is beneficial for conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, helping reduce joint pain and stiffness, and research is exploring benefits of other autoimmune conditions like lupus and inflammatory bowel diseases, as well as asthma. Healthy aging, a fascinating area of research, suggests that omega-3 fatty acids may reduce accelerated telomere attrition or shortening. Telomeres are the protective caps on our chromosomes that shorten with age and slowing this process can counteract premature aging, 
contributing to a healthier and potentially longer life. They may also have anabolic effects, supporting muscle maintenance. In conclusion, omega-3 fatty acids are indispensable. By ensuring you get enough through diets, supplementation, and monitoring your omega-3 index, you're making a profound investment in your cardiovascular, brain, and overall cellular health for years to come. Thank you for listening. I hope you have felt, uh, found this talk uh, interesting and helpful. Uh, please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to this channel.